The ETF for Greece, MSCI, Greece ETF, is perhaps interesting for both the short and long term if you want to invest differently than the overall market. In this video, we mention a number of interesting characteristics for the ETF GREC. The ticker is GREC. There are certainly some reasons to invest, but that is mainly to promote their own funds. What I think is interesting relates to the trends in the holdings and the financial valuation. But first, some basic things, such as the total expense ratio, which is relatively on the higher side. It is therefore a thematic ETF with a total of 31 holdings. 31 holdings means at least somewhat fewer holdings than most ETFs. So in practice, this often leads to more volatility. But the question is, of course, what is the actual risk? The risk is, of course, total loss of money or very long periods of poor returns. That is a risk. The dividend is around 3.8%, but that is based on the 30 yield. And what we are going to see is a number of holdings. More on that shortly. But first, something else. The 31 holdings have a combined price to earnings ratio of currently 6.4 and a price to book value of below 1. You can also see some data about beta. What is interesting now is that the S&P 500 has a price to earnings ratio of around 23 to 25, which is significantly higher than this ETF. And we see that the return on equity of the group with a market average of 4 billion is 15%, which is certainly not very bad. Most of these holdings are in the financial sector, which naturally presents some risks, but also potential opportunities. For example, the largest holding is in the National Bank of Greece. What is the risk that such a bank will go bankrupt? We have seen before that Greece is not always in the best economic position. So there is a risk that these holdings, mainly in finance, may not perform well. Other stocks, such as motor oil, are actually interesting enough to study further on my own. This valuation alone is extremely low for this company and it simply seems like a deep value stock. However, they have multiple holdings and you can see that the average PE ratio is only 6.4. And yes, you can imagine that there is potential for growth in the long term when the price to earnings ratio is so low, but not without risk. Again, the holdings breakdown. In addition to financials, there are also utilities, consumer goods, cyclical, industrials, and energy. So, actually, a number of sectors that are quite cyclical in nature, and the holdings remain. More or less the same, but the turnover rate is 30% on an annual basis. The expense ratio is 0.70%, and that is slightly higher than the median. However, we are talking about a theme ETF here. And of course, there are also ETFs like Vanguard that are very cheap. But then we are anyway aiming for the average. And with the Greece ETF, the Greece ETF, with that, you are of course not aiming for the average, but trying to invest differently from the average. Now, in terms of dividends, the ETF score is quite high compared to other ETFs. And remember, this is a comparison against the median. The dividend yield currently stands at 2% for the entire year. It may therefore turn out to be higher. We also see some figures regarding dividend growth. The risk grade is high. Risky. Why? Because the standard deviation is higher than the median. In other words, 18% essentially means that the stock experiences frequent upward and downward movements. Not suitable for people who do not like that. But also, for example, and this is very important, the total holding, the top 10 holdings, make up 66% of the total ETF. And that is, of course, a high concentration of the top 10 holdings. The turnover weight is 29%. This is relatively normal compared to other ETFs. However, the tracking error is not particularly good. So there are also quite a few disadvantages to mention about the Global Greece ETF. Another disadvantage is that the liquidity is not very high. Of course, this depends on the large amounts you are investing. As a small investor, you don't have to worry about that. But for a large investor, an asset pool of 188 million is not super large. So in terms of liquidity, it scores neutral as well. Now, what is the right entry moment? However, we have different perspectives. One of them is the quant rating. 
the quant rating actually compares this ETF with all other ETFs based on momentum, expense, dividend, risk, and liquidity. Momentum is given the heaviest weighting. So, ETFs and stocks with a higher score on momentum. Scores are defined to be higher on the quant rating, and at this moment, the specific ETF even receives a strong sell based on the quant rating. But fear not. A strong sell is given more often. It only means that according to this model, the Grec ETF may perform worse compared to other ETFs. That could easily change again when the momentum becomes more positive. However, there is something to be said about a sell. Personally, I would not sell. I also wouldn't get super excited about buying. The 6 rank rating gives a hold rating for this ETF. And let's take a look at the technical analysis, starting with the short term. There seems to be a support level here around 40, and that is also a support on the EMA 50. But you can see at the bottom that the mass ED is decreasing, so momentum is fading. The question is whether we will find support at the zero line here. However, this is of course all. Yes, technical analysis. What I think is more important is that you look at fundamental analysis. In other words, the price to earnings ratio is still low. The outlook still seems okay. Greece is naturally supported by the European Union. However, it remains a rather volatile economy. You could put it that way, especially with 40% of the holdings in the financial sector. When you zoom out, you see a different story, namely that the Grec ETF, which seems to be rising for a longer period, is still down, 45% from its all-time high. So it doesn't mean that there is no upward potential. This does not mean that there is no downward potential. Overall, 2025 still seems to be a great year for returns for the MSCI Greece ETF due to its low valuation. But we do not expect exceptionally high returns for this ETF.